Dice Baker where today I'm going to be making the letter tiles from Scrabble. Um, if you've seen any of the previous few episodes of Dice Baker, I've usually been making cakes or biscuits, pretty much sweet things um, every time it's included icing. Um, so I wanted to change things up a little bit and make something a bit more savoury. So I'm making some cheese crackers and hopefully they will look um, a little bit like tiles from Scrabble. I'm gonna try and at least put the letters in, even if I don't put the actual numbers in. Uh, but we'll see how this goes. It's actually um, quite a simple, uh, quick to do recipe. It takes all of like five ingredients, um, but I wanted to kind of keep it simple this week because um, there's a lot on <laughs> essentially. But yeah, I'm gonna start as per usual by measuring out the ingredients. So I've put the dough into the fridge to chill for half an hour and in the meantime I've put the oven on to 180 degrees celsius um, to preheat essentially for the next part and the next part is literally just going to be me rolling out the dough, um, cutting it into squares. Um, the original recipe actually tells you to put a little hole in the middle to, to like have an, an area where the, the air can get out but obviously I'm going to try and make those into letter shapes for the scrabble tiles. Um, so once I've cut those out, I just stick them on a baking tray and then stick them in the oven for 13 minutes and then we'll see how that happens. I think I think they're meant to poof up so I'm not sure how Scrabble-like they'll look but this is what this show is all about, trial and error. Now they go into the oven for 13 minutes. The first batch is in the oven. I literally just rinse and repeat. I'm gonna try and make um, the same kind of letters as there are in the English Scrabble. Um, just for fun, really. Woo, I'm such a party animal. The timer just went off, so the first batch must be ready. Quite happy with that actually. The letters are fairly visible and they look cheesy. Nom 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 nom. The first batch is out and cooled down, so I'm gonna just give it a try. Mm. Looks good. That's good. I mean, there's not much to these really. It's pretty much just cheese, flour, a bit of butter, isn't it? So, um, if you want cheese, this is a pretty good way to eat it, to be honest. I'm pretty happy with how this came out. Um, the letters, although it's not like, you know, the most obvious, they're actually fairly obvious. They're actually be a lot better than I thought they would come out. Um, there was a point when I put my first batch in the oven where I was like, I really thought this was gonna be my first like proper disaster bake um, for the show. Um, but I'm pretty happy. Like they taste good, they look, decent um yeah i mean what more could you want and also this has probably been one of my favorite things to do for the show so far because uh, i mean they were super simple they took like no time at all 
Um, it's just a really simple way of doing something a bit board gamey, I guess. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit easier and quicker to do, um, out of all the things I've done so far, this is definitely the one. Also, this is great, as I said, if you fancy something a bit more savoury. Um, because everything I've made so far up until now has been very, very sweet, very icing heavy. Um, just, yeah, very sugary. So this is really nice. This is, I'm probably going to eat these in front of the TV now, to be honest. I got so distracted eating cheese crackers, I almost forgot to do an outro. So here we are. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Dice Baker. Um, I hope you liked it. I've certainly enjoyed it. It's been very delicious. Uh, as always, there are plenty more of our videos that you can check out on YouTube forward, youtube.com forward slash dicebreaker, where we not just bake board games, but we actually review and play real life board games. What? Um, if you haven't yet, you could also hit that subscribe button, which is the lovely round uh, pink button in the middle of the screen. Um, and if you hit that, you'll be notified when we post more videos and we post more videos quite regularly, about five days a week. So that's good. If you haven't checked it out yet, we've also got a website called dicebreaker.com where you can check out lots of lovely written articles um, from our editorial team in-house as well as lots of freelance writers um, who grace us with their lovely articles on board games uh, on a regular basis. So you can check that out as well. Um, there should be a link in the description somewhere. But as for now, have a lovely day.